Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to today's podcast. And in this short informational podcast, I'm going to talk about a parasite that has been linked to ingestion of raw fish and foods that are as common as sushi and sashimi. Now, the raw seafood used in foods such as sushi and sashimi may contain parasitic worms that can cause relatively mild to sometimes severe infections in humans. Anisacus simplex is the most likely offender out of a number of different parasites from these now common foodstuffs. Anisacus is a marine roundworm that can be found in over 200 species of fish, eel, and octopus. When you eat raw seafood contaminated with this roundworm, you are ingesting live larval forms of the parasite. Anisakiasis is most commonly found in areas where eating raw fish is popular, such as Japan. Because eating undercooked fish is becoming more common, we have been seeing cases in here in the United States, in Europe, South America, and other areas of the world. From as soon as one hour to up to two weeks after eating sushi, the symptoms may begin. The worms typically attach themselves to the stomach, where vomiting and abdominal pain will ensue. More severe symptoms may be abdominal pains resembling appendicitis and rarely bowel obstructions. Now, typically in this country, people discover they have this parasite when they feel a tickling sensation in the throat and actually cough up the worm. The parasite rarely achieves maturity in the human host and eventually dies in a few weeks. However, the dead worms stimulate an inflammatory response, which can cause allergic type reactions. Now, there is no pill or antibiotic to take to treat anisakiasis. Removing the worm via endoscope or surgically may be the only way to alleviate pain in very severe cases. Now, the good news is that this foodborne illness is quite rare in the U.S., with approximately 10 or so cases reported on an annual basis although it's speculated that many mild cases are not reported. So how do you prevent this potentially painful parasite? Well, one, avoiding raw or undercooked fish or squid. Now, the Food and Drug Administration recommends that all seafood intended for raw consumption be either blast frozen at minus 35 degrees C for at least 15 hours or regularly frozen for seven days, which will kill the parasite. You can go to reputable restaurants that surely follow these health and safety guidelines. It's not wise to prepare your own sushi from fish you caught yourself. The disease should be considered if you had recently eaten sushi or sashimi and have symptoms of an allergic reaction with abdominal pain. Thanks for listening.